Hello, hello, hello everyone. What is going on? James here and today I bring to you my review of an average Premier Inn hotel. So, let's go. Here we are in the hotel room. So, this is it then. This is Premier Inn. There you go. A uh, little area you can sit here. Boom. Well, a chair, sort of. Well, there's the chair. This is, I don't know, some weird bed chair I guess got a view outside which is uh, not particularly good in this specific room because like I'm assuming that's the premier inside in front of it or something like I'm right in the center but uh, I suppose you got these houses there you got uh, a bit of a uh, greenery over there which is cool so not too bad uh, table area uh, kettle uh, cheeky menu there you go breakfast menu boom uh, Food menu there, uh, food menu there, so yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, coat hangers here, hair dryer. Uh, obviously a toilet, every hotel room has a toilet and uh, quite spacious, the premiering ones are. Uh, oh God, this one, oh, oh. This one stinks, man. This is a, I cannot believe it. I haven't been to the toilet yet. But like this one absolutely stinks. That is not good enough, man. Oh, to, to, to disgrace one out of ten. But I guess when there's a poo smell, what can you do? Well, they could have cleaned it better, I suppose. But no biggie, no biggie. I guess these things happen. No, uh, I don't know how it is with uh, Travel Lodge, but yeah. Uh, hair and body wash. If you want to have a shower, so that's pretty useful. Obviously, they're not going to put like I don't know. Carex in there or whatever, any other body wash because like people would easily just take that, wouldn't they? Well, when this is stuck to the door, you can't take it, you just put it in your hands and do what you do. And towels as well, so yeah, nice to supply you with towels, pretty cool. And you even get a little bin there, so uh, decent banter, decent banter. The purple premiering glow when the lights are off, very, very cool, very snazzy. So you got a big Samsung TV and this controller is actually the controller I have for my TV in my bedroom uh, from 2011. So I don't know if, um, if the TV itself is from 2011, it could be, but oh, welcome to your room, giving you a cheeky welcome right there, very cool. So, uh, yeah. So we've premiering you pay well because i booked 11 months in, in advance got the room for 47 quid but obviously the less you book in advance the more you're gonna have to pay so if you only book a month in advance you might have to pay like 150 quid a night for a room but 47 quid is a great deal in my opinion it's cool how you get free wi-fi the wi-fi is not the best you can get the ultimate wi-fi if you want but i like how you get free wi-fi which is cool not the hard set up just put name email surname in well some Wi-Fi's in the past, not necessarily hotel ones, but other Wi-Fi's. But other Wi-Fi's, it makes you run through 50 circles and then it doesn't even work that well. Uh, I know that's a small point, but it's a valid point in my opinion. Uh, had a breakfast this morning, Premier and breakfast. Um, I don't know if it's because we got there a bit late, but some of it was really not that nice. Uh, mainly the eggs. The eggs look really hard and like dry and just uh, fried eggs. There was no scrambled eggs. Uh, the hash browns are okay, a little bit overdone in my opinion. Mushrooms are okay, a little bit, a little bit too chewy compared to normal. Toast was, yeah, toast is toast, and it? it's all good, you know, just about the butter that's used and how much you toast it, obviously. But yeah, it was my, uh, the sausages were okay. Uh, definitely one of the weaker premier and breakfasts I've had, to be honest. I do find it a little bit weird how you can't like open any windows at all. I don't know if they think people are drunk and opening the window and going, whoa, and falling out the window to their death. I don't know. It, it just seemed maybe they could have it so you can open the window a little bit. It's just good to air rooms and let some air in, but maybe they just, I don't know. I don't know why Premiering don't let you open them, don't have any way to open windows. Like you, there's no handle or anything. The windows are just not they cannot be opened but yeah a lot of premierings are located really well as i say parking's usually really good as well yeah overall just a brilliant standard great hotel to be honest better than paying a crap ton for cop fawn or well i haven't been to a travel lodge in years i don't know what they're I, I think i went to one when i was younger and they're all right you know i guess a criticism with premiering is that the um beds are a little bit too hard for my liking but uh, there's not much you can do i suppose they just always have hard beds and another criticism is there actually isn't a proper, there isn't a couch, it's just this chair here 
and there's like as a as I showed a, a, like I don't know what it's called specifically, but it's not a bed, but it's not a proper couch or sofa it's just couch slash sofa it's just like a, an area where you can sit if you want so there's no proper area where you can sit apart from on this chair but how are you going to watch telly here and i suppose you can move the chair all the way over there but you're going to be at a weird angle it'd be better if there was just a couch there. it'd just be nicer in my opinion uh, but there you go it is what it is constant stream of fresh air eh? well for all fresh air my ass for all we know someone could be farting in there and letting the air out into the um air vents uh, I think it's better to get natural fresh air and not have, well, what they call fresh air pumped into your room. So, yeah. But it's what it is. I don't get, I don't get why they do that. I don't understand or why they don't let you open the windows. But there you go. Oh yeah, there's a lot of plug sockets, which is cool. A lot of different lights. Um, little table here. But oh, oh yeah, you got a rubbish bin too, which is all right. Um. Yeah, so basically you've got this, uh, forgive me, uh, bogey in there, uh, yeah, and you got here, so some areas to put some stuff, put a bottle of water where you're asleep there, or put your phone down here, or put your phone on charge there, you know, so yeah. You can turn the temperature up and down, which is uh, cool, I don't know if every hotel lets you um, turn the temperature up and down, but yeah. And, and you have some nice art here, that, uh... Well, it's obviously all one photo, but all like goes on to the next one, like this goes on to this, and this goes on to this. So some very nice art. Hello everyone. So I've got to say the breakfast this morning was far, far better. It was really good. The hash browns are better. The mushrooms went down better. The sausages were about the same, still pretty good. But we got some scrambled egg and it was phenomenal. Didn't bother with the fried egg because yesterday it was bad. But yeah, so, I mean, it is a 9.5 out of 10 for Premier in still, but I just wanted to say that the breakfast was better this morning and probably for the best as well we're not probably going to eat much until we get home on the night might grab something grab a little something from somewhere but apart from that we're um we're off home so yeah been a nice relaxing couple of days at the premiering and uh going around south devon a bit so really cool but yeah so thanks for watching and see you later have a good one